Hi there! Today we are going to talk about raw milk and dairy products. We all know that milk is a great source of all of our essential macronutrients as well as some micronutrients like riboflavin, vitamin B12, and calcium. Not many people would deny the nutritious qualities of this beverage favorite. However, milk is a more controversial topic than you might think. Since 1908, when Chicago became the first U.S. city to adopt a mandatory milk pasteurization law, the fight for raw milk has gained momentum. During the early 20th century, communicable diseases such as tuberculosis were showing up in cow's milk. In order to help prevent an epidemic, the U.S. Public Health Service implemented a standard milk ordinance, which was voluntarily adopted by 20 states in order to prohibit the sale of raw milk. The federal government has since banned the sale of raw milk products across state lines due to the growing evidence that these products pose risks to public health. Unfortunately, this has not been enough to stop disease outbreaks related to milk-borne pathogens. According to the policy statement by the American Academy of Pediatrics, 93 outbreaks related to consumption of unpasteurized dairy products occurred in the 11-year period between 1998 and 2009. These outbreaks consisted of a total of 1,837 illnesses, 195 hospitalizations, and two deaths. Activist groups such as Farmageddon and the Campaign for Real Milk insist that milk is nature's perfect food and that it is a better choice than pasteurized milk because it is more easily digested, has more vitamins, is naturally antibacterial, and supports local farmers. So you may ask, what is pasteurization and why do raw milk advocates think it's so bad? A common procedure for pasteurizing milk is to rapidly heat it to at least 72 degrees Celsius and to hold that temperature for at least 15 seconds. This process will get rid of harmful bacteria that can cause illness or spoilage in the milk. There is little evidence to support the claims that raw dairy is more easily digested due to the presence of active enzymes or beneficial bacteria. People who suffer from lactose intolerance but still love dairy can try consuming lactase added products, fermented dairy products, or even taking a lactase supplement. They should be aware that the digestive discomfort accompanied by lactose intolerance will be nowhere near the discomfort caused by bacterial infection in the digestive tract. In regards to vitamin and mineral content, some studies show that pasteurization does affect the properties of some vitamins, including riboflavin, vitamin B12, vitamin C, vitamin E, and folate. However, most research shows that this is not significant enough to affect the overall nutritious qualities of milk. Minerals like calcium are very stable and are not affected by pasteurization. So no need to worry about your child's bones. Activists also claim that raw milk can help to cure or prevent allergies. While there appears to be some link between drinking raw milk during childhood and not having allergies, there is not enough evidence to promote the consumption of raw milk for children. This claim can also be dangerous because it suggests individuals with a dairy allergy can consume raw milk without risk of an allergic reaction. So pasteurization doesn't destroy the good parts of milk, but is raw milk actually unsafe? Proponents claim that raw milk producers have safer, cleaner practices that lead to safer, cleaner milk. This is untrue. Milk producers are human and they are prone to human error. There are four main ways milk is contaminated. The cow has an infection that passes from her blood to her milk. Her udder is infected, which directly contaminates her milk. She lives in an environment filled with feces and some gets into the milk. Or a human worker with dirty hands or clothes handles the milk. All of these are hard to avoid. And while dairy producers do their best to keep animals healthy and clean, it is impossible to create a completely sterile environment free from any pathogen or to screen for every possible contaminant. 
Many producers of raw milk are small family operations and could not possibly afford the rigorous testing to improve the safety of raw products. Even if they could, infective doses of common milk-borne pathogens such as Campylobacter, E. coli, and Salmonella may be lower than tests can detect. Milk is full of sugar and protein that bacteria love, and while a small amount of bacteria directly after milking may not cause illness, after bottling, transportation, and storage, bacteria has had ample time to grow and infect the consumer. Pasteurization not only protects the consumer, but also improves the shelf life and reduces waste. Well, now you know the facts. But how big of a problem is this really? Studies show that outbreaks are more likely to occur in states that permit the sale of raw milk, and children are most at risk for becoming ill from these outbreaks. Additional populations that are at risk for infection include pregnant women, infants, elderly, and immunocompromised individuals. One common infection, called listeriosis, can put pregnant mothers and their unborn babies at risk for infection leading to stillbirth, preterm delivery, or sepsis. Children who contract E. coli are at risk for developing hemolytic uremic syndrome, a condition which destroys red blood cells and causes kidney failure. Even the general population is at risk for developing symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal cramping from these bacteria. While more research is needed to find out definitive answers about the nutritional quality and protective effects of raw milk, there is one thing that we can all agree on in the meantime. Many fans of raw milk buy from their neighbors or farmers in their local community. Supporting local agriculture is a great way to support the economy and build a strong community. For purposes of sustainability, consumers are right to put their dollars back into their own local economy. However, a shift in policy to support local farmers must be made in order to help dairy producers provide a safe product to their customers. Our top priority should be to keep consumers safe and healthy, but we need nutritious, sustainable foods like local pasteurized milk to do it. Remember, Pasteurized milk is just as nutritious and much safer than raw milk. Protect yourself, your children, and your community by choosing only pasteurized dairy products. Thanks!